Welcome to List of 13. I'm Megan. And I'm Rob. Thanks for watching. We make lists on various topics, find 13 awesome facts, and present them to you. If you have trisodectophobia, this video may not be for you. Otherwise, enjoy the list. Maserati SPA is an Italian luxury vehicle manufacturer. Established on December 1, 1914 in Bologna, Italy, the company's headquarters are now in Medina. Its emblem is a trident. Today we bring you 13 facts about Maserati you probably didn't know. There's this guy that lives near us and he's really tall and he drives a Maserati that has a California license plate and it was last registered in like 2015 and it seems like he doesn't get pulled over because he's still driving around his Maserati car. It's kind of crazy. I forgot all about him but we do run into him all over town. Right. Number one, Maserati and Ferrari, two iconic Italian brands, have had a close relationship for many years. This collaboration has resulted in shared technologies, engine development, and mutual commitment to delivering exceptional performance and driving experiences. Well, that explains why they are both some really nice cars. Yeah, true story. Number two, Maserati was founded in Bologna, Italy in 1914 by the Maserati brothers, Alfieri, Bindo, Carlo, Ettore, and Ernesto Maserati. Those are some pretty fancy names if you ask me. That's a lot of boys. Bless their mother. Right. Number three. In line with the growing demand for electric vehicles, Maserati introduced the Ghibli Hybrid, its first ever hybrid model. I wonder if it still goes as fast. It actually goes faster off the line from my understanding. Nice. More torque. Number four. Maserati has had five owners. The Maserati brothers, the Orsi family, Citroen, Alessandro, De Tommaso, and Fiat, which morphed into Stellantis Europe. I'm pretty big fans of the earlier owners, but I think we all know what I feel about Fiat slash Stellantis. Number five, Maserati won the Indy 500 twice in 1939 and 1940. Very nice, even back to back. It's been a while though. Number six, the Maserati Quattroport, meaning four doors in Italian, is the brand's flagship luxury sedan. The Quattroport is a symbol of Maserati's commitment to craftsmanship and sophistication. And really, it is a pretty cool vehicle. We want to thank you again and tell you how much it means for you to watch this video. We would really appreciate if you do some things to help our channel grow and reach more people. We would be so grateful for you to subscribe to the channel, like this video, ring the bell, and share this video with your friends. As a result, YouTube will share our video with more people. Number seven, the Trident logo of the Maserati car company, designed by Mario Maserati, is based on the fountain of Neptune in Bologna's Piazza Maggiore. It was considered particularly appropriate for the sports car company due to the fact that Neptune represents strength and vigor. Additionally, the statue is a characteristic symbol of the company's original home city. Very nice. I like the Trident logo from Maserati. It's pretty cool. Number eight, the Maserati MC12, a limited edition supercar, shares its platform with the iconic Ferrari Enzo. This collaboration between Maserati and Ferrari showcased their engineering prowess and resulted in a powerful and visually striking vehicle. That is a pretty cool looking car. I think that I still prefer the Enzo myself. Number nine. In addition to automobiles, Maserati engines have also powered racing boats. That's fun. Take them by land and sea. Yes. Number 10. The Alfa Romeo 4C is built in Maserati's Modena factory. It's kind of neat how those Italian car makers have those alliances there. Yes, they certainly play well together. Number 11. Before manufacturing cars, Maserati was best known for making spark plugs. Well, that's quite the jump. One component of a car to a luxury sports car company. That is two things that are not like the other. Right. Number 12. Maserati manufactured its first racing car, Tipo 26, in 1926. In its first two decades of automaking, Maserati built only racing cars. And then they built racing cars for the rest of us. I mean, if you can afford a Maserati anyways. Right, and you should probably not drive it like a race driver if you'd like to keep it looking nice and shiny. And number 13. There are currently 109 Maserati dealerships in the United States as of December 13th, 2023. Very nice. I think we visited one while in St. Louis. We did. At night, when they weren't open, we looked through the window. Right, which is the only appropriate way to visit when you need to look like Odie licking the glass from the outside looking in at things you can't afford. <laughs> you know, they are nice cars, but I'll keep our Subaru because I think that's a nice car too. Yes, and within our range of affordability, which is the most important thing. And still like a Porsche, it has a boxer engine. We hope you enjoyed this list about Maserati. Tell us which fact was your favorite or which surprised you the most, or perhaps if you own a Maserati. Thanks again for watching. If you have an idea for a new video, tell us in the comments. We'll mention you if we do it. We hope you have an awesome day. And please be, be kind, kind to, to each, each other. other.